Welcome to my YouTube battle report featuring Morgox Crushers against Spike Claw's Swarm. This was filmed and streamed live on my Twitch channel on pre-order day at twitch.tv forward slash can you roll a crit. The this best of one game sees me using Morgox Crushers against my friends Jack, Spike Claw's Swarm. While it may not seem like a fair matchup on paper, Jack ended up winning boards, so he did the diagonal configuration with the Molten Shard Pit to basically give me a nice offset, so it's a lot of distance for him to keep away from me. His deck is very strong and it revolves around quickly racking up glory, running away and basically denying me scoring glory. So we thought it'd be really interesting to show just because generally that's quite a tough matchup. And with that board set up, it technically should be quite hard for Morgox Crushers to do well. So without further ado, we'll get to the game and we'll see how my Morgox Crushers fare. So let's roll off a play. Oh, I'm gonna. Am I gonna keep my cards? Uh, that. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep mine. Then we roll off. I have two full supports. Uh, I have three full supports. Ooh, would you like to set up first? I'll set the first fire. This thing probably should. <laughs> let's pop. Hard skull. Hard skull played today by opening the bold. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to put. I'm going to put sp Scritch Spider Claw on the back line, right in the corner. There we go. I'll put Morgok behind Thug. Morgok behind Artskull, do you mean? Yep. Artskull, yes, that's right. I'm not saying all orcs look the same. Uh, I am not that. Green <laughs> um, Play today by Severin, that chap. Uh, I'm going to put Kirk on the back line. Uh, not on the back line. Uh, in the back corner over here next to Objective 2. So I haven't made that clear at all. Uh, and then I'll put Thug there in between the two objectives. I'm deployed. All right, I'll finish up then. Uh, hungering next to Objective 3, not next to the lethal. Festering next to Objective 3. Uh, sorry, Festering next to Objective 2. Uh, lurking next to Objective 3 in the lethal. And where's uh, Lurking going? Uh, next to 3 in the lethal. Oh, where's Hungry? Next to 3 and not the lethal. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, so let's roll off. I have nothing. I have supports. Would you like to go first or second? So I just flip this. You can go first. Right, good luck. You too. First activation, I will... Go on guard with Ard Skull, and then in the power step I'll pass. Any power cards? Uh, no, nothing for me. All right. Uh, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Um, so making a trip via the lethal. Um, with which fighter, sorry? Uh, that was with the festering. To objective two, and that was a calculated risk. Okay, dokily, and glory. Ah, uh, a wound. Any power cards? Uh, no, thank you. All right. So for my second activation, Hard Skull will move around onto objective five. Towards me, got a boss because I hold an objective in enemy territory. Yep, one glory. Uh, then in the power step, I'll pass. Oh, I need to give him a move token. Would you like to play any power cards? Because uh, I am not going to play anything. Uh, no, you're okay, thank you. Cool, so it's your second activation. Uh, I'm going to move. Let's do lurking onto objective three. Any power cards? Uh, no, I pass. Right. 
for my third activation, I will move on to objective four with Thug, which scores me hidden purpose for controlling two objectives. Uh, then in the power step, I'll pass. Oh, Dave, I feel Beast Grave has been going on for far too long. I think that's where we've sort of carried on playing and stuff over Skype, though. Yeah, because we're kind of, we're still playing on meta, but not really, because we're just chilled out, so. Yeah, and I think if people have obviously just sort of stopped for lockdown and stopped playing, you know, effectively, they've played from October to March, and then it's just the stuff, like, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. I still don't know where I've got those fire cards. I am perplexed. Uh, but yeah, Jack, any power cards? Uh, going into my third, right? Yes, going into your third activation. Oh, no, I pass. Right, so it's your third activation. Uh, make a charge with Kirk. Uh, so he is a mighty two for two damage. Cool. So look at hammers. Uh, no, nothing. Any power cards? Oh, after your activation, I score now what? Because I control two objectives. Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Um, yeah, first order of business, nervous scrabble in. Just take the objective off of you. Um, so what do I want to play? I'll play Brutal Attack, so I get plus one dice in the next activation. And I get an additional war counter. Any power cards? Uh, yeah, shifting reflection. Yep. Um, just thinking who did I want to do that with? Yeah, shifting reflection to grab objective five and take objective four. So that's what. So. Uh, is that thug is non objective file and that's the bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. No power cards from me. Any power yeah. cards? Musk of fear to put Kirk on guard, which inspires him. Um, okay. No power cards from me. Any more power cards? Okay. All right. So for my last activation, uh, my leader will attack. Free smash because of brutal attack. A uh, crit and a hit. So you need a success and a crit. Uh, no, didn't happen. So you take free damage. I get... Eight. <laughs> He's dead, so I get a wa two war counters, which inspires my leader. Two war counters. Oh, you had one from the card, did you? Yes. Oh, sure. Uh, so he's inspired, and I don't score anything off of that, but I just get one for the kill. Uh, and I'll react with glorious triumph, so I count as holding an objective. Because I have killed you and taken your head as a trophy. Uh, sure. Any, oh, any no, he He's dead. Any power cards? Uh, no, I pass. All right, so then it's your fourth activation. I should be popping glory down. Oh, I'll get that. I'll draw a power card. Uh, any power cards? Uh, I pass for now. I will play Eager Advance. To push my leader onto objective four, and he gets a war counter. 
Sure. But that scores me Auric Cunning for playing my third Gambit this round. Nice. So I'm on five. Uh, power step, I will pass. Yeah. Right, any power cards from you, sorry. Oh, I'm, join I'm joining you in passing. All right, so then it goes into the end phase. I don't score anything. Um, what do I want to do? I will... Just... Oh, this is... I'll hold on to my cards, my objectives, I mean, and I will spend two glory. So I'll give, I'll give great fortitude and a new to pain to thug. So he's on six wounds and he's minus one damage. Yeah, I wasn't attacking him anyway. <laughs> um, I don't score anything. It's great games, uncontested and swift capture. I just drawing five power cards. Uh, I'm going to put Spectral Armor onto the Hungering Skaven. So yep. on two dodge. Um, with my, and just stop the Dazzling Key and then draw up. Okay, so then we roll for a round two. Oh, that's one. Oh. oh, I can see it. I have a, two single supports. Oh. Uh, I have one double, uh, one double and one single. So you win. Um, I will let you go first. Tight. I'm going to draw a power card. All right. Uh, any power cards? Uh, not for me, thank you. I will spend the glory to give Vengeful Glare to Thug, so if he gets targeted by an attack action, he gets a war counter. Right. Uh, any power cards? Uh, no, thank you. And then I'll play War Energy. So I'll roll for Ard Skull. He gains a war counter. I'll roll for Thug. He gains a war counter. I'll roll for my leader. He gains a war counter, so he is on four. Uh, any power cards? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. All right. So then for my first activation, I will use uh, my leader's ability, so I'll get rid of war counter and push my friendly fighters to him. I'll push Thug. Then, oh, sorry, and then Thug. So him down the side and uh, then in the power step after my activation I score show of force because one of my fighters has three or more upgrades nice. I one, think six. you've got me in the wrong place my hungering skaven is on the uh, hex one forward oh that's yeah. fine I'd still be start hex adjacent I don't know yeah. if that affects the decision no 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 still push I mean it just gives you more targets right Technically, yes, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I draw up. Um, but yeah, no power cards for me. Any power cards? Nothing for me. All right, so it's your second activation. Uh, I'm going to make a move action onto objective five with the rat that I just told you about, hungering. Oh, so it's lurking on objective three? Yeah. Oh, okay. So hungering onto five, which gets me temporary victory. Nice. Um... So thank you for vacating that. That's okay. Any time. So, so <laughs> uh, so temporary victory scored. Sure, the fresh one. Uh, I'm going to put who's inspired on your fighters. Only my leader. Only your leader. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put uh, expendable onto lurking Skaven. Okay. Uh, I will... Uh, 
I'll spend a glory and give Tome of Offering to Ard Skull. Oh boy. <laughs> Any sure. power cards? Uh, no, you're right, thank you. All right. Uh, so none from me. So for my second activation, Ard Skull will attack. What does huh? he have on? He just has Tome of Offerings and he's got one, right. one war counter. So he's uninspired. Yep. Two Furies. He's about to uh, miss, but he does inspire. He's now got a second one. Nice. That yours? Uh, power step, I will pass. Uh, power step, I shall also pass. Yep. He says, thinking. Sorry, I'm just having a quick count. That's okay. The right decision. You've got two goes left, right? Yes, two activations left, and no one's charged. That's the most dangerous place to be in against these boys. Yes. Uh, everyone's movement for apart from Thug, because he's not inspired. The Thug is surrounded by juicy, juicy targets. Oh, yes. Uh, for my next, then... Sorry about this. Uh, That's okay. Best way to do this. I'm not sure there is a best way to do this. I'm not sure against the well in this situation. Yeah, no, I know what I want to score, but I don't think it's happening. How many damage is this chap doing? Uh, two. Tom? So he's doing Still. two, everyone else is doing three. And he can use his wild counters to make himself more accurate, right? Only when inspired. Oh, right, okay. Which he's not currently. No. Uh, I passed power, sorry. Cool, so it's your third activation. I'm going to draw a power card. Any power cards? Yeah, I'm going to force the issue here. Uh, I'm going to push um, Ard Skull one away with Scratching in the Shadows. Which way would you like to push him? Uh, just the, the only way that gets him away. Uh, no power cards from me. Oh, your turn. Right. Uh, so what upgrades... So what does Hungering and Festering have? Do they have any upgrades or Inspired? Uh, Festering... Uh, no, none of them are Inspired. Yeah. Um, Hungering has Spectral Armor? Hungering has Spectral Armor... Lurking has expendable. Okay. Uh, no, nothing else. Okay. That's so fine. I'm a glory rich like you, mate. <laughs> uh, for my third activation, Thug will. Uh, let's see. He will charge into Festering. Onto the starting hex? Yep. So, free fury, no supports. Uh, two hits, so you need a crit on one dice. Need a crit. Uh, I rolled a dodge. Oh. So he dies, yeah. I get cool. one glory, and uh, what is it he inspires because I've got a war counter. War counter. So they're all inspired now. All inspired now. So I am on seven. Power step, I will pass. Oh, he needs a charge token. Yes. So this is going into my last. Yep. I'm going to bring back Festering Skaven in this starting hex in the corner. 
give you another target. Okay. Uh, any power cards? Okay. Uh, none from me. So then... Who's lost? Who haven't done that, I reckon? For my last activation... Uh, Ard Skull will charge in. Good. What against Scritch? Uh, I will use charge one of his war counters. So he's doing free fury, four damage. Uh, one hit. So you need a dodge or a crit. One dice. All right, lucky sevens. Let's do it. No, he rolls a shield. Four damage. So he takes four damage, Take and I score Might of the Oric because I did four damage. Four oh, Ard Skull is just adjacent to Thug, so I get two glory. And I get the war token your, back. Your last, right? Yeah, that was my last. Uh, Powers. Uh, no power cards for me. Uh, restless prize to take objective two. Uh, no power cards for me. Uh, cool, I also pass. Uh, so scoring, do you get anything? Supremacy. Nice. So you are on six. I feel happy about that. I mean, I'm about to get murked, but important. Uh, I'm going to discard tax supremacy one four. Yep. Uh, because you're holding those. Uh, so three glory for that. Uh, I don't have any upgrades. One, two, three. And I'm going to pitch mischievous spirits because yep. it doesn't seem like that's important to you. Uh, oh, I get one more for Tome of Offerings. I forgot I had Tome on him. I do have Tome of Offerings, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to give Lurking the key for expend for Objective 3, which he's currently on. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to draw up. So I just score Lona. Oh, not Lona, sorry. Team Effort, because I activated everyone, which unlocks great gains for me. So I get free. So I'm on oh, 13. Oh, did the push, didn't he? Yeah, he pushed everyone, yeah. I was like, what What? What action did he take? But yes, you are correct. I will get rid of... Uh, Berserk future to, uh, Fortitude and Brutal Reprisal. reprisal <laughs> but... Yeah, I'm not attacking you, mate. Come on now. <laughs> then I'll I'm just draw up. I mean, I'm currently 13-6 down, so how smart am I really? Yes, we'll see. Uh, all right. Right, so for round three, let me flip this away. Uh, I'll roll, I'll roll my first. Uh, four hammers. Just identical to what I rolled last time. I got a crit and a... Uh, let's see. I'll let you go first. Oh. Um, I'm not happy with everything that I'm doing at the moment. Yeah, I'll draw a power card, I think. Uh, and that scores me hold two objectives. Yep, um, hidden purpose, hidden, cool. Hidden purpose. Uh... Uh, power step. Uh, any uh, any power card, sorry? Yeah, so Crown of Avarice on Festering Skaven. Festering, yep. Because I know you've got the glory to take. <laughs> uh, so your power. Uh, no power cards for me. Okay, uh, I'm going to put nothing else on. I'll allow you to make the next move. Uh, no power cards for me. So for my first activation... I will. Uh, I will draw a power card. A uh, power step, I'll pass. Uh, power step, I pass. Yep. Uh, I'm going to put Tome of... Oh, sorry, not pass. Um, I'm going to put Tome of Glories onto Hungering Skaven. Okay, no power cards for me. Cool. Uh, and then the... Next one, I'm going to print a glory token. Cool. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Any power cards? Uh, not for me, I don't think. Let me just quickly double check. No, I'm good, thank you. All right. So, let me just double check. Uh, Festerine has... Crown. Crown of Avarice. The other guy is Expendable. All right. Yeah, so cool. Zion Objective 3 is Expendable and the key for yep. the key for the objective he's on. So... Uh, no power cards from me. So for my first, second activation... Have a go if you think you're up enough. Hard Skull is going to charge... Festering. Sure. Oh. If you want to play any of your war counters. Uh, no, I'll keep them. I like, like my war counters. Terrible surprise. Uh, yeah, so Free Fury... Uh, one hit. So you need uh, a crit because you're trapped. Nope. I rolled a dodge. So um, you get one glory and I get one for the kill and one for Tumble of Offerings. So you get one, I get two. Uh, you, you don't get one for the kill. No, you just take one of my unspent glory. I get sorry, I get martyred, yep. which gets to gather momentum. Cool. So like three for that. Uh, I will react with Cunning Brutality to push me on to yours if you want it. So that puts me up to 11 now. Uh, and he's on a third wild count. Uh, any power cards? Uh, no, I'm okay for now, thank you. All right. So then it's your third activation. I'm going to draw a power card for my third. Uh, uh, what upgrades does Hungering have again? Just... This is what I love about webcam games. Uh, Tome of Glories, which is... Used. Oh, and Spectral Armor. Yep. Spectral Armor, correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, no power cards from me. So then for my third activation, I'll chop. Bug one, two, three. I will... Burn my two war counters, so he's going five fury. Uh, where I need a dice, and that's uh, bright shield, yeah. Yes. Five fury against one dodge, two. Uh, yeah, two, two lonely. Uh, crit and a hit. Can't can't defend it. Yep. So I get one for the kill. He loses his war counters, but. So I'm on 16. Uh, power step. Uh, as a reaction, I'll give him Victor's speed for free. Sure. Uh, power step, I will pass. I'm on six. Oh, so he's charged and he's charged. Needs to be better with my token. Yep, so uh, Thug is charged and Artskull is charged. The only one who isn't charged is my leader. And you've got one more go left. Yes. Oh, what do I want to do? Uh, I'm going to play There Are Always More. Yep. And bring back the Crown of Avarice uh, Festering escape. Yep, where would you like to put him? There, please. So, hiding behind the blocked hexes. Is that correct? Just move this up. No, uh, so, uh, close to my way. Yeah? Yes, correct. Cool. Um, all right, uh... No power cards. But any power card? Oh yeah, no power cards for me. Uh, I also pass. Going into my last, right? Yes. Oh, I'm going to pop myself onto objective one. Okay. 
Um, what upgrade has he got again? Sorry, he's got Blazing Key or... Uh, Crown of Avarice. I just got Crown of Avarice. Um... Okay, uh, no power cards from me. Chill, sure, your last go. You want to charge him? No, I will move my leader one, two, three through the lethal hex onto objective five. Take some damage. Uh, power step, I will pass. Any power cards? Thank uh, you. Yeah, I'm going to give uh, Fester and Skaven the key for objective one. No power cards from me. Uh, I think I've pretty much scored everything I can then. Um, so scoring, did you get anything? Uh, yeah, so I got a uh, key for objective one, key yep. for objective three, um, and I one shy of coveted spoils, you scoundrel. Uh, so I get proper rumble because there are three fighters out of action and my leader's wounded. Nice. Uh, I get Path to Victory, and I also get Good Day's Work because more of your enemy fighters are out of action than in action. Yeah. So I get 5 Glory, so I'm on 21. 21-15. Not bad. If yeah. you'd have held that last objective for me, like a sweetheart, I'd have got 18. But yeah, it's, it's an uphill fight going against those guys. I'm proud to have got as much as I did. Yeah, I think it shows how ridiculous they are where I got the I like worst board setup and still just kind of wrecked face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that being able to push two hexes is deadly. Yes. Or, yeah, the, the two hexes per fight of that action is just disgusting. Well, yeah, because he, like, the thing is, I know some people have, like, not been rating it, but you can use it. Like, it's not great during, oh, it's still good no matter when you play it, but when you push two friendly fighters against, like, multiple enemy fighters, your opponent now has to go, what do I do? Because... If you attack them, they've got brutal. They could have brutal reprisal, so you can't yeah. even drive them back, and it's a trap. So it's like you're kind of forced into this no-win scenario. Yeah, one of the things I was thinking of, I, I thought it earlier while you were playing David, is when you moved on to an objective and you were like, "And I score now what?" And that kind of typified for me the fact that that objective and a couple of others they've got are just so anti. Like, they're not flavorful at all. Like, the orcs are all about killing. Yes. Why does it have three or four objectives that reward them for holding objectives, you know? Yeah, like, it's weird, because it, it, you could argue it feels like those objectives are there to balance them out being, like, um, an elite warband with range one. But then yeah. you look at Daughters of Cain, I mean, the Morgwaste Blade Coven, and you're like, why didn't they get the kind of same treatment? Yeah, exactly. What? Well, well, what benefit did they get that these guys didn't? And there isn't any answer. These guys hit I just, I was just about to say the exact same thing. Like, the Daughters of Cain seem like they could do with the boost of play three power cards, stand on two things. You know, it sort of fits in with the faster moving wall. Yeah, it was almost like they would be really balanced around temporary victory and, like, changing it would just be a bad idea. And I suppose the on the surface level, when you look at the fighter cards, you go, oh, you beat the orcs by not engaging with them. But then actually they've got loads of nice surges where they can that they can score without engaging. Yeah, because I think in the first round I scored six glory with only making one attack because yeah. I got one kill. That just gave me one glory, but the rest of my cards were five surges. Yeah. Yeah, I think your your surges came out in quite a favourable order there as well, which is always... Yeah, because I, I moved on, then I moved down and scored Now What, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Then I scored and Hidden Purpose, to and then I was one. like, oh, that, that's really nice. And then I, yeah. I drew into Faction Hidden Purpose, and I was like, well, this is <laughs> too good. I feel bad for Jack, because these games don't feel uh, yes. representative of some of the games I've seen him play with. This, this Skaven deck can just I be... Mean, absolutely brutal at times i mean i got absolutely destroyed there and i still scored 15 right yeah. that's kind of the justification because even then tome of offerings only twigger triggered twice yeah. uh so that's two so even without tome of offerings that would have been 1915 yeah uh and i did only kill four fighters i think three or four yeah uh four i think yeah you rezzed twice, I think. Oh yeah, but yeah. I only killed one fighter who was rezzed. 
Well, there you go. After a fairly tense round one, my early access to a lot of surges just basically snowballed me to an easy victory, even though we thought it'd be much more difficult, which kind of is a testament to how easy more box crushers work with just scoring glory. And I was basically running a full aggro build, apart from the surge hold objectives. Um, and even as we explained in the video, I only really got my Tome of Offerings to trigger twice. So even without it, I would have won by two less glory. So they did manage to rack up a lot of glory. And you can argue, you know, there were a lot of targets to kill. But on most attacks, I was generally doing three or four damage, which was enough to kill most of my opponents. But yeah, that was my game against Spike Claw Swarm with more Gox Crushers. I hope you enjoyed the game. As if you want, you can find the deck list in the episode description. But yeah, always hope you're finding your more Gox Crushers full of fun with monstrous crits. But until next time, always ask yourself, can you roll a crit?